Hello, hello. Sis, if you haven't drank water yet, this is your sign. Sis, you thirsty? <laughs> this video is about dehydration. How to tell if you're dehydrated. This is me coming to you raw, no makeup, so you could clearly see the signs. So I hope you... I hope you appreciate the, the rawness of this video. This is video number two of my blog, Tover. So I'm excited to come to you and talk about the signs of dehydration and why hydration is so critical and important. Hydration, H2O, what it is, how we need it, and how much do we need of it. And why is it important to stay hydrated? You heard it from the doctors, you heard it from your friends, you heard it from the memes and all of that, but what are the serious complications and implications of being dehydrated? And what are some signs that you could check to see if, oh shoot, do I need to drink more water? If you're asking yourself, maybe the answer is yes. Okay, number one, why is this so important? to be hydrated? Do you need to be a fish? Do you need to drown on water? Do you need to walk around with one of those, you know, one of those gallon things and just drink it up? Or do you, why? So dehydration could cause headaches. Your skin, it affects your skin. It affects your hair. It affects your sexual health, if you know what I mean. It also affects your overall health, like the frequency, how you go to the bathroom, not only for number one, but also number two. If you're dehydrated, you're going to be constipated. Um, there's no way that you're not drinking water and then you're a regular going to the bathroom. It's just your body doesn't work like that. And this might be TMI, but someone had to say it. Someone had to come and say it that you need to start drinking water. And this is maybe this is me projecting because I am not the best water drinker. It might be. I mean, yes. <laughs> However, if me sitting here telling you that you a reminder that you need to hydrate, that you need to drink some water will help you, so be it. Let's TMI this, let's sit down and buckle up, let's talk about it, right? So there are different ways that you can hydrate yourself. If you are a lousy, not, let's scratch that, not lousy. If you're an awful, like you forget to drink water, like I have to, when I'm working, I could drink all the coffee. I do not forget to drink coffee. As soon as I wake up, that, that uh, espresso thing, it's on the stove. La greca, la pongo en la tufa. And that's the first thing I even think about. Before even washing my teeth, I would go put the coffee in while I'm washing my teeth. Coffee maker on. It's not uh, something that I overthink <laughs> at all. Now, when it comes to water, I heard that the first thing you need to do is to drink eight ounces of water as soon as you wake up to help regulate your stuff. Because what is the first thing you do when you wake up? You go pee, because you've been holding it the whole night, right? So guess what? That water is leaving your body. You need to replace it. Does it make sense? So I hope it does. If not, I could translate it in Spanish. Let me know. Podemos hablar español de pipi pupu. Oh my gosh, is this gonna be a bilingual blog? I don't know, I'll probably put some subtitles here and there. Moving on, what can you tell? What are signs of your body that you need to drink more water? The reason why I'm not wearing any makeup is to show you. If your lips are like chop and it's not, oh, it's a winter time, no. If your lips are not moisture or like you feel like they're like, like, I don't know how you say it in English. Like you're like, oh, an email. <laughs> yes, I'm multitasking. So like, this is how much I am committed to this Blocktober. I am taking a break from work. I am supposed to be on my, my lunch break and I'm doing this video, so bear with me. So if your lips are chopped and ashy and you feel like, oh, like they're like sandpaper, 
you need to drink more water. If your skin feels tough and you have a lot of acne, it could be that your toxins are not leaving your body and it's accumulating. But again, I'm not an esthetician, so like Google that. But also the more water you drink, your skin will clear up. It will be, it will be like you're glowing. What's another sign that you need to drink more water? When you go to a bathroom and you pee, and instead of being clear, it's, bear with me, it's this color says you need to drink more water. So I hope you don't get to that extreme, but you get the point, right? Like the darker your pee, the more water you need. I was, um, it was funny because I was talking to my, uh, my mom is a doctor. So like, I've always thought that, oh, I'm also a doctor by osmosis. Like I would ask her a bunch of questions and I'm like, oh, so I know this stuff too. So we were talking at this big age, I was talking to one of my siblings and I'm like, yeah, you know, like you could tell if you're dehydrated by your pee. They look at me like funny and I'm like, what? I'm like, yeah, you could tell you're dehydrated if your pee is clear or not. And they just look at me like I'm crazy and I'm like, wait, this is not common knowledge. This is not everyone's like, oh yeah, of course. Like, you know, of course I knew that. And I'm like, huh, this needs to be talked about. Again, no doctor, I'm an engineer, I'm not certified. You can Google, Google is free. You can even call your doctor and ask them like, hey, how many cups of water should I drink during the day? Google is gonna say eight to 10, eight ounces, right? If you drink more, great no one has well actually um i think we were doing a competition when i was like in middle school or something like that maybe high school and we were like whoever can drink the most water and i think i drank like one day like 30 cups or something like that we drank crazy and we're like i know people could die from not drinking water but is it also bad that you drink too much water to the point that it's too much for your body. I'm gonna Google that. Hold on, hold that thought. Let me Google it real, real quick. Life gets in the way. And as you can see, I'm no longer in my place. I'm in my hotel room because I have work to do. But this video, I needed to finalize the recording. So this is me staying committed to Blocktober and also to y'all. So appreciate the support and if you've watched so far don't worry i have a great story so i already put below that yes you could die from drinking too much water if you are a lazy drinker don't worry about it it's not for you you're you not. it's not gonna be you so <laughs> also have a story that um as an engineer i used to work at an aerospace so I used to work like in government contracts and my employer had to uh, like they it was very common um, to drug test me before I accepted an offer before before I started a job I accepted the offer then they went to do a drug test and um, I've done some companies had to require hair samples if a company that was before me being natural. If a company today tells me that they're gonna take hair samples, I'm gonna tell them it's against my religion, my Afro religion. So no, you cannot take hair samples. Uh, I've also had companies that have taken, have I done blood? No, I think it, it has been like, has it been swipe? Okay, so it was definitely hair, urine, I want to say something else. I don't remember, but uh, definitely for this last company that requested, they requested me like, oh, you need to do a drug test. And I'm like, okay, cool. So uh, of course I'm working in between like getting to this job and like starting this job and leaving my other one. So before I even put my notice, like I'm just like making sure that everything is in order. I wasn't worried about failing a urine test. I went to take it on a weekend and the lab didn't send the results, the, the sample to the other lab in time. So that sample got fermented 
or something. So we fail. And they're like, oh, we need you to do it again. Fine, cool. Um, second time, I'm like, oh, I'm drinking, you know, drinking a lot of water. I have like this thing that I was just like drinking a lot of water. So I drank like, I want to say like a gallon of water before I did the urine test. So my urine was so clear that it was invisible, right? <laughs> Not invisible, but almost invisible. And, and I am, so I do this test. So I'm, I'm doing this drug test, like the second sample. And I've been drinking water all day and I'm like, I hope this one doesn't like, you know, they don't mess up that order. So it takes like a week for them to get back to me and they're like, yeah, your results are inconclusive. And I'm like, what? Yeah, we couldn't, we couldn't test it because it was very diluted. And I'm like, what do you mean? Yeah, you drank so much water that it was so diluted that we couldn't get a sample. And I'm like, that is crazy. That is crazy that they, I drank so much water that day that they could not get like a sample, uh, like a good whatever for the, you know, for the strip. They couldn't get a good sample for the strip for it to like say something. So like, I guess they tested like uh, several times and they were like, no, it's inconclusive. Like it doesn't work. It's not giving us like the result. So I'm like, wow, crazy. And I'm like, at this point, I'm like worried because I'm, because this is the second time and I'm going in for a third time. So that day, didn't drink any water. <laughs> the day that I was taking the third sample, uh, didn't drink any water. I was like, I drank barely the, the like a cup or two, and I'm like, well, I hope it's it's like it has the essence that you're looking for, so you can so I can finally take this offer and say bye to my other job. <laughs> and it's just like wow, like I didn't know like do it with that information what you wish for those of you who need to pass a drug test do with that information what you need to do um but yeah i was like surprised and um absolutely that that was something like a shocker like oh wow like this happened um because you drank too much water so too much of everything can be bad a little also like starving yourself from water um it's also bad so drink your water uh, a lot of things that i do to help me drink more water in the summer i drink cold water um because of course it's it's hot right but in the winter time i don't like cold water um so i don't put it in the fridge uh i put sometimes lemon slices you could put cucumber if you into that you could put like some mint you could put like natural stuff like even fruit like you could do like um strawberries and just refill it and refill it but please at the end of the day throw it away because the fruit gets fermented so don't be like using it several days at a time also bacteria right like you don't want that to be fermenting and you're drinking that bacteria if you are not like a fruity person or you don't like putting stuff in your water or you want to be more practical, they also sell electrolytes. I'm starting to use electrolytes. Uh, my doctor recommended that because they, hey, if you don't want to drink like water like a fish, just like drink one or two of these and you won't need to drink as much water if you forget or don't have time. Just like drink it at the end of the day or drink it at the first time when you wake up and just like have those electrolytes in your body. So I'll link it down below so you guys can give it a try. I, I'm trying two brands. I've also tried a third one. So I'm going to link all three below um let me know which ones have you tried i'm trying to do brands without sugar added sugar because like why am i drinking water and sugar so i'm trying to do uh brands with zero carbs zero sugar added sugar um and they do have like i think it's stevia or monk monk's extra or monk whatever the monk sugar i think that's zero everything um or airy Throw something like that um so yeah so maybe that's also um in it but it's not like like regular sugar cane right or honey so if that helps hope that helps for you 
So this is like the end of the video. Thank you for watching. It's been fun. And let me know what you think. What crazy story have you had with dehydration? Like what are your side effects that most commonly like you could tell like, oh, like oh, I need to be drinking water because I feel like my mouth feels like a certain way, like like sandpaper or like it, it has different tastes. So like, let me know below like what are your thoughts on this and if this information was helpful. And also, what would you like me to talk about on the next video? Okay, that's all for now. Bye-bye.